Good morning, students. Last two classes of this chapter, electricity chapter, especially, we will discuss electrical appliances, definition of current, potential difference, and how you can make an electric circuit. And the last class, if you remember, that was related to Ohm's law. So we will start before we start. I revise the Ohm's law and then we will continue that what you mean by resistance, what factors are affected to resistance and how we can do numericals. So Ohm's law, it was according to Ohm's law when the physical state of a wire or a conductor remained constant such as length, temperature and area of cross section then potential amount of current is directly proportional to the potential difference across the end of wire this was the ohm's law so v is directly proportional to the i we remove this sign this is a constant so v equals to ri then r equals to v upon i which means v for potential difference I for amount of current and both they are in ratio form so remain constant V if you make the unit of potential if, if you make the unit of resistance then volt upon ampere is ohm you can write ohm and you can also draw the symbol of ohm omega this is known as omega so that was the last class now if you if you are moving the next topic, R equals to V upon I, that means resistance. What do you mean by resistance? If you define the resistance, resistance that means it is a property of a conductor to oppose the flow of current. It is a property of a conductor to oppose the flow of charge. That means we can say R is inversely proportional to the current or conductivity. Conductivity is directly proportional to the amount of current and resistance is inversely proportional to the current. There is a graph, if you plot a graph between V and I because according to Ohm's law, V is directly proportional to the I so, if you make a graph between V and I, this is an x-axis, this is an y-axis, so we will take potential difference in volt, this is current in ampere, and if you make 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, whatever. Then we can find that it becomes a straight line. And when in a graph there is a straight line which means V is directly proportional to the I. That means amount of current is directly proportional to the potential difference. Now, if you define the definition of one ohm such as 1 volt and 1 ampere, we can define 1 ohm. Resistance R, that means to oppose flow of charge, right? Friends, R, that means resistance to oppose the flow of charge. Similarly, if you define the definition of 1 ohm, which means we can define it when 1 ampere current when 1 ampere current pass through in a circuit in a conductor then potential difference is 1 volt across the end of wire then 1 ohm equals to 1 volt upon 1 ampere that means result 1 ohm. Understand, student? I repeat once again that 1 ohm, which means 
when one ampere current flow in a circuit then one volt potential difference across the end of wire it becomes one ohm so the resistance of wire becomes one ohm okay now so this is an ohms law and we can find the difference so as we take an example as numerical r equals to v upon i suppose I ask five ampere current flow in a circuit, and the potential difference of this wire is ten volt. So V equals to ten volt. I five ampere. What is the resistance of that wire? And how you can calculate? R equals to V upon I. V ten upon five, which means two ohm. You can write in this way also. the right answer so what is the resistance of this condition v upon i 10 upon 5 which means 2 ohm we can find the answer and that type of numerical will be there in exam so the next topic factors affecting resistance how many factors affecting on resistance resistance that means r factor effect on resistance resistance there are three factor especially first length second area of cross section and third density area of cross section that means width of a wire so there are three factors length area of cross section and temperature so factor affecting on resistance here which factors depends on resistance how many factors are depends on resistance especially there are four factor first length area of cross section temperature and human right nature of material nature of material nature of material length area of cross section and the temperature are four factor which affect the resistance let me start one by one the first we take length of wire n before i start what how the length is depends on resistance ohms did in practical what was he took three wire of different length 10 cm 20 cm and 30 10 20 and 30 cm okay they have made up of same material area of cross section same area of cross section that means width of wire such as this is we can say this is area of cross section of this wire so that means width and they are connected to cell key a meter volt meter and find the amount of r through v upon i so i amount current pass through this wire first he use 10 cm wire okay second 20 cm and third 30 cm he notice he found that when we increase the length of wire resistance is also increase that means the more length of wire has more resistance if you take three wire different length same material same area of cross section but resistance is directly proportional to the length this is equation number 1 which means if you increase the length of wire resistance increased if you decrease 
the length of wire resistance also decrease that means the 30 cm wire has more resistance as compared to 20 and 10 cm similarly so this is the first equation now the second area of cross section second factor area of cross section that means a with again he took three wire but that time there is little bit change length remains same but area of cross section is different look at me there are three wires 10 cm 10 cm 10 cm but every time these three wires has different width such as the third wire has more area of cross section compared to A and B. Now, again he place in this circuit and find the value of R by this formula. R equals to V upon I and he found that result. What was the result? Whenever we increase the area of cross section, resistance become decrease. That means it is an inversely proportional to the area of cross section. A for area of cross section, that means R is inversely proportional to the area of cross section. If you increase the area of cross section, resistance decrease. And if you decrease the area of cross section, resistance increase. This one equation number 2. So whenever we mix from equation 1 and 2. The first one R is directly proportional L. Second R is inversely proportional to the 1 upon A. Then finally therefore R equals to directly proportional L upon A. Again if you remove this sign we got a new sign. R is equals to resistivity rho L upon A. This is a new sign which called R H O rho R equals to rho L upon A. We can use in this formula in numerical form. If you make rho, rho equals to R A upon L. Again we can use where rho equals to resistivity. Resistivity and you can write specific resistance resistivity or specific resistance so this is rho you can find by these the first I repeat once again finally r is directly proportional to the l that means if you increase the length resistance is also increased Resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section. If you increase the area of cross section, resistance decrease. And from equation 1 and 2, we got the new result R equals to rho L upon A. Rho is an another constant. This is called resistivity and specific resistance. Now, rho equals to R A upon L. Then, if you make the SI unit of rho, R A upon L, R ohm into area, that means meter square, and L length meter, from 1 meter to cancel, then finally you got it, ohm multiplied by meter, this is the SI unit of Resistivity. So we can say this is the final result of resistivity. So this is the resistivity of resistivity that means specific resistance, but it doesn't depend on length, area of cross section, temperature. It only depends on the nature of material. Nature of material which means if you take three different wire of different nature such as 
One wire is made up of copper, another is made up of aluminium and another iron. They have three different nature of material. So, resistivity depends on nature of material.